Good morning. That's a big ass cannon. That is a big gun. Um, so. I didn't actually show off, like, all the stuff that I got for, um. for doing all that before, with, with like, getting Yuffie. Um, I got a whole lot of, of limit breaks unlocked and stuff, so. From now on, though, we're not using Tifa. I know we just got a new weapon for her and everything, but we're going to be using Yuffie because Yuffie's got a long-range weapon, which means we can keep her in the back row. Hmm. Got to protect the waifu? So Yuffie comes with the throw materia, which I went into uh, a couple of episodes ago, and how much I hate the throw materia. I was actually reading this thing, a guy was talking about how he had uh, unintentionally or or unconsciously put the throw materia in with the counter materia, which makes you counter attacks. So he would counter by throwing stuff. And he accidentally threw away some really important weapons. <laughs> Never to nice. be seen again. That's the kind of mistake you make twice before you realize. So we're just getting our uh, materia in order since we've basically replaced one of our party members with this party member here. Uh, she's going to be our new, like, kind of healer. Which is kind of fitting for her because her... Her second rank one materia, uh, not materia, uh, limit break is a, uh, full party heal. Hmm, nice. Kind of like Aerith's first level one limit break, only useful, because she's actually a useful character, like, unlike Aerith. So... This is Junon, where Sephiroth has apparently gone off to. It doesn't really have much to buy. Oh, something I didn't mention as well. Um, one of the enemies that we were fighting when, from last episode, when I did that sped up sequence in the forest, um, you can steal a a weapon for Yuffie from one of those enemies, which I did, so she's got that equipped as well. Nice. So this is Priscilla. She, she's a little girl with a dolphin friend. Are we going to eat the dolphin? No. Well, Please. that guy eat the dolphin. We're gonna fight this boss. And of course, the little girl decides that she wants to run into the water. So this boss's name is Bottom Swell. Not to be confused with Bottoms Well. Yeah. So, the long range material is useful here. Uh, I put it on Cloud. Uh, see, Barrett can't actually attack right now because he doesn't have a long range weapon. Cloud and Yuffie both have a long range weapon. Barrett has fire too, though, which does a hefty amount of damage. Yeah, 
Oh, you got bubbled. Yeah, Bottom Skull does this thing where he puts you in a bubble. And similar to um, Reno's ability to put you in that little triangle thing and you had to attack it to break it, it's kind of like that, only instead of uh, physical attacks, it's magic attacks. <laughs> so that's the Chocomog summon. I don't remember if we showed that yet. But there it is. No, I don't think we showed that yet. It's really good. So he is weak to fire, I believe, which means we could have just spammed beta on him a few times and he'd die, but that's not fun. Where's the theatrics in that, man? If we're going for a speed run, sure. Well, if you were going for a speedrun, I don't think you would have beta. True. Anyway, uh, Priscilla's dead. Told you not to run with that fucking stupid-ass dolphin. Nope, she's not breathing. He seems very casual about that. Is this another minigame? Health uh, yeah. health. <laughs> so you have to press the square button to start inhaling and it ticks up by one and it'll go all the way up to ten and then you can hit square again and exhale all the way. You have to get 41 breaths in, so I do 9 and then 5. Like, is there... can you fail this? I don't think so. Oh, so it just forces you to do this anyway, okay. The speedrun strategy, speaking of speedruns, is there is a very small chance that you can get it to overflow and hit 11 breaths. But there's always a chance you'll screw it up. I just do 9 because it's safer. Because no matter what, you need to do 5 breaths. Because it's 41. Unless you can get the 11th breath in on 1. By the way, we just let that old guy take that little girl, didn't even verify who he was. He's had his eyes on her, unfortunately. Rip, was it Priscilla? Yeah, Rip Priscilla. Wait. So, we can now stay here for free because we helped Priscilla. Not that we had any choice. Five years ago. Nibelheim. Spooky voice in my head. What do you want? 
Doritos. Oh, like 3D Doritos? Yeah. I don't think they make those anymore. Yo, Slash! The voice in your head is asking the real questions. Prompts you to ask Tifa about five years ago. Something does seem strange outside. There's some festive music playing. They're celebrating that they finally killed that girl playing with their dolphins. I forgot where to go. We have to go upstairs. And then Priscilla comes out. She does give me a reward. Oh yeah? Yeah. It's an amulet. It's the Shiva materia. So now we have yet another summon. So, since Rufus is here, we have to go say hi. We're going to use Mr. Dolphin to go say hi. Everyone just leaves at the cloud. God damn it, guys. Look at that dolphin. Whoa. So what you have to do here is uh, you get into the water and you blow the whistle and the dolphin comes up from underneath you and shoots you right up into the air. Um, you have to be in 
just the right spot and he'll knock you up onto one of the upper beams of the tower so that you don't get electrified trying to climb it. But the easiest way to do it is to hit the whistle once as soon as you are able and then hit it again and it pops you right up. You just, huh. you just don't move at all. <laughs> that seems like a... Like a, a developer was like, I don't like this. Let me put this shortcut in here. Yeah, maybe. So this is your first look at this giant airship that looms over this area. It's very pretty. And for whatever reason, they use the like treasure chests from... Shinra Tower as a switch to lower the elevator here. Sure. I guess they wanted something that you would know you'd interact with. The new president's here. I'm still dressed like this. Uh, so there's some dumb stuff coming up, so I'm going to turn the uh, message speed back to slow. Not that it's going to matter. So I fit in perfectly here because I'm wearing a soldier uniform. Sure. So, he wants me to change into my, uh, very obviously not my Shinra uniform. Then Cloud walks off the screen so it can swap models with, uh, a Shinra soldier. And there we go. This is just such a wonderful section of the game. So what happens here is we have to march in line and depending on how well we march the TV ratings will go up because of course this is televised and depending on what the rating is when the little parade is done we get a different reward. Um, hmm. it, if it's 50% or higher we get 5,000 gil which is very nice. Uh, if it's in the 40s we get 6 ethers which is also a pretty nice reward. Uh, if it's in the 30s, you get a few potions, and then if you totally fuck it up, you get a grenade. <laughs> We're aiming for the 5,000 gil. But this minigame is dumb and stupid, so we're probably gonna get a grenade. You did your best. Here's a grenade. It's 
It's very nice pan around shot of Junon. That gun is gigantic, by the way. So we've we've missed the beginning of the parade and now we have to sneak in line. <laughs> so the goal here is to not make everybody look bad. And he says that we we shouldn't just go in from the front. And we should try to like sneak in the back and then you hit the button to, to do the little gun thing so you ready and go yeah oops <laughs> So so. I got potions! Six of them! <laughs> Gotta say that 5,000 gil would have been useful. Why is that funny? What? The the fat green man. He just is laughing at everything. Oh, it's his nervous laugh. He's very scared, so he laughs. It's his horse laugh. Rufus doesn't like it. did it yeah it was a disaster but we did it big green seemed mad fuck him yeah We don't get a break. This I don't get. You totally screwed up the parade. 
so they're gonna let you send off the president. As you do, I guess. This is one of the dumbest minigames ever. Basically, he's gonna call out a, uh, a command, and you have to hit said command. Uh, so, OK is circle, cancel is uh, X, menu is triangle, and switch is square. If you were using a PlayStation controller, and then left and right or left and right. The problem is, he doesn't actually, like, finish the whole command. You'll see, like, a C for cancel. See, that's all you get. Jesus Christ. Oh. I bet in the original language it was much easier. We need a special pose. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, it's not so much original language as it is original system. Because this was originally a PlayStation game, so the commands were literally hit the square button, hit the circle button. The triangle. Right, right. I forgot that they like to use the symbols instead of uh, actual words. Mm hmm. Well, they can on the system because there's no changing the key bindings. Oh, hey. It's rude. So rude. Alright, so we're not going to go right to the send-off just yet. We're going to check out all these shops. So there's a couple new materia we can get here. One of which is the Revive Materia, which, as you may guess, is the uh, ability to revive your teammates if they're down. So, save all those Phoenix Downs now. This is the Weapon Shop. Um, we basically have everything that we would need from here already. So, saved our money! His basement area is like a bar. And Rude is here, if you want to talk to him. <laughs> Item shop. Nothing of real super use, so we'll just leave this one. Go on to the next one. Look at that creepy dog. So we're just going to ransack this house. What's this? Hmm. Oh, hey, hey, you remember the beginner's hall area from Midgar in Sector 7? It was like the second episode we went there. Well, this is the advanced hall. All right. Now I remember the talking dogs. It's basically the same thing. Uh, you ask about different uh, 
things. And here it's about materia and stuff. And they'll give you the answers if you want them. But what we actually want from down here is this enemy skill materia. If you notice, these dancing men in the background here are from Midgar. They are ghosts. Immediate, intermediate beginner's hall. <laughs> Your explanations were so complicated I couldn't return to the planet. So, if you had any, you know, questions that were in the original beginner's hall, you can ask them there. Basically, it's your fault that all of these people couldn't die in peace. Because your answers were so complicated. Yep. So, we're gonna go up here. We're gonna grab this little miniature soldier. It serves absolutely no purpose at all. Where's that cat? Right there. Hit that kit. So, there's just a bunch of different uh, source potions in here. Look at those kitties. Hit those cats. I can't, they're all the way up there. No. And that's it for this screen. There's nothing on this screen. And there's nothing on this screen. Yet. And wouldn't you know it, there's nothing on this screen. Now, if you look closely here, if you run far enough, those people look familiar. Hmm. But, we're not gonna see them just yet. First, we need to go in all these buildings. First is gonna be this bar where we can see uh, Reno and Elena and uh, what's his face? Sang. All right, so next time we'll uh, finish off looking through all these buildings and then we'll go do the send off for Rufus and see where that takes us. So, oh, yeah. So until then, good night. Good night. <laughs>